Good morning everybody, welcome back to another video and today is the video, the World Championships, the eSports World Championships, the day's finally come. I hope you've enjoyed the build up and the hype and the excitement around just getting to today and now that we're finally here, it's only right that we make a little video to compliment it, to remember something from today. I might think I'm being keen by already being in cycling kit and we're like 12 hours away from the race but actually we're for a ride this morning and that's not unusual it's not unusual on race day to go for a ride prior to the race Do you want to wind up, Ed? What? Do you want to wind up? I'm on a diet. <laughs> so this morning, I've come out to join some of my buddies to just spin around and pass the time. He was like me. Keith. What are you going to say it, mate? Well, I said wreck the road. I would say that. We need someone to lie down for me to cross safely. <laughs> I'm very well protected today. Little protective bubble. Around the head mode. <laughs> I go down. Yeah, you go left. Oh, yeah. 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 Come on, Johnny. You can do it. Come it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it. My ride is complete. Now, uh, many of you are probably wondering why I would do a ride like this, like the morning of the World Championships, but it's something I've done for many, many years. There's not really any science behind it, other than like it keeps me relaxed and there's also a lot of time to kill today before the race. So yeah, it's not scientific, it's just something that I've done for years and years and always like as an endurance rider myself I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this it can take me a long time to get going and the race tonight's gonna be very hard so it's nice to just have like a, a ride where I can just warm up I can just spend some time out the flat and just get my head sort of out of that out of that zone because I'm gonna have enough time spending it later but it was a lovely ride. I think it was like seven, eight or not, nine of us out in the end. The same group are going to be down at the local cafe tonight to cheer on and watch the race, which is really nice. There's great, there's some great local support. Are you a shrimp or banana person? Shrimp. Charles, how surreal is it that I'm racing a world championship from my own living room? Of all the years of racing on the road and traveling away to race, like even flying 14 hours across the world to race, this is just bizarre. Plus it doesn't get much better than Omelette News Blood on the TV. Yeah, this is for you, not for me. Mm. I'll make mine in a minute. There you go. You need this now more than me. My supporter. 
Try and keep you awake over the next couple of hours. Wales are losing. I think I get a bit of sport to prepare you for a hammering on the bike. It's quite inspiring, I think. We've had Het News Blad, we've had the UAE Tour, and then we've got Rugby. Men's Does and Women's Hats. Yeah. Blad. Doesn't get much better than that. Yeah. Okay, that's one of my main jobs done for the evening, apart from race, and that's to submit my height and weight uh, videos um, to the organisation. For those data nerds out there, uh, you know, you have to wear your kit when you weigh yourself, so I weighed in at 61.8, and uh, my height is 177 centimetres. Now it is very real. We're in the pen. We have an hour and 22 minutes, not one minute and 22 seconds <laughs> until the race start. Hardest bit is done. Made it to the start line. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna quickly run through my setup now cause this might be the first time you've ever had like a backstage um, look at something like this. Where do I start? I mean, we're obviously in our flat, this is unusual, we're at a world championships, but here is my setup and I'll try and talk you through it. So my old setup actually used to be in here, which is like this little room, which is kind of like my bike room slash dumping ground. Okay, but we've moved everything into this room, which is the big room and we have some windows there and we have some big, open doors here, they're not open at the minute, but they will be. Um, so we get like a full like through draft. Okay, ignore our little jungle of plants over there. They've all got names, but we love them to bit. We have the Kicker V5 that was sent to us. We've all got to use uh, the V5. I'm gonna fix that in a minute. I, uh, that was just a temporary fix to like level the ground, put in a magazine under the turbo. We've all done it, we've all done it. I've got two fans. Um, I've got the Wahoo Headwind. And I've got this Honeywell fan as well that I picked up on Amazon. It does the job, but it's um, it's more for like keeping my hands cool. For some weird reason, like I get sweaty hands. We have the TV, which I'm gonna be using. We have a webcam up here, which is connected to my laptop. We have to be on a Zoom call with all the other riders, and that means that Zwift or you know whoever's broadcasting basically can then pull in our webcam. So if like I'm on the attack, for example, um, they can actually like pull in like real life uh, footage of us thrashing it on the turbo, which is pretty cool. Um, so the other thing as well that you may not know is that we have to hide like branding and anything that's not sort of on brand. So we always have to, obviously have to wear our GB kit in the race um, and in real life. Um, but then everything has to be kind of plain and boring behind, which is fair enough. I luckily have a Wahoo towel. Wahoo are partnering with the event. I also have a Wahoo bottle, which um, I think either Wahoo or Zwift are the only two things that are technically allowed. This is my little desk setup we have here. So. Here's my heart rate monitor. You're not allowed to wear um, the ticker fit, which is what I wear on my arm sometimes to uh, record my heart rate. Uh, I have to wear a proper chest strap, so that's it there. I have a mouse, which is a bit better sometimes than this when it gets a little bit sweaty. As you can imagine, a pad of any kind does get sweaty. This is a Logitech K400 Plus. And we have a, a blue uh, Yeti microphone. I've just got some standard earphones coming out of it so that I can talk on Discord. Um, we will obviously be having like a team sort of channel, team chat. So yeah, uh, I don't think there's anything else left to tell you, but I felt like this video should definitely have a, a segment where I tell you exactly what's happening here because yeah, it, you know, you might not ever know, um, you know, what goes on behind the scenes of it. One final thing to mention, I may even get a partnership deal with them one day. It would be pretty cool, uh, considering the amount of uh, streaming that I do, and it's starting to take wear and tear on my Alienware Alpha 10, which, which I was given, and then I actually bought. Um, this handy little unit does everything, does all my streaming, 
is all my uh, Zwift racing and uh, it's handled it really well and it is years old. So uh, Alienware, if you're listening, um, yeah, you make, uh, you make a good PC. Meanwhile, at Unit 7, the group I was out with riding this morning are having a wheel of the time watching the race. The first column is what's the key and the end column is the gaps, yeah? Yeah. Uh, the has been... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's very difficult to know what you mean. Do you know where to be So they look like they're enjoying themselves while I flog myself up the New York KOM. Anyway, back at the ranch. Business. You can shut the doors now, but um, now I'll let you pull off the tip. Oh, well, 33rd, 33rd out of like 90 starters. I was like, I put myself in a position to like at least be there within a chance. Like the last time up the climb, like everybody knows, it goes up and up, and then it flattens off, and then it goes up that like really savage bit for like 45 seconds. I was right at the front there, literally like in the first four. And then as soon as it kicks up, like I was there, and that's where everyone was just doing like 11 watts per kilo for like 45 seconds. I don't know, I need a bit of a head start if we're gonna do, <laughs> do an effort as big as that. So, um, I mean, I give it a good stab. I put, like I said, I put myself in the position. I can't be, you know, can't beat myself up about that. You've got to put yourself in a position to succeed. And if you can't do it, you can't do it, but you, you were still there, so. One experience. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Did it be cold? I'm so cold. <laughs> I, appreci I appreciate you feeding me a gel and uh, just making sure everything was running, so. Well done, team. I hope everyone enjoyed, uh, enjoyed the race. We watched it live. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video as well. Actually, before we go, we've got to do a TSS guest because I always do it and we didn't live stream, so here's a TSS guest. Do you want to zoom in on the 170 TSS? Look at that! I pulled the ring out of an effort. How far does it go? Look at that. 340. That's mad! I always love these debriefs, those of you that watch the stream. Um, new personal bests, 
Uh, and those came obviously at the end of the race. Uh, well, I hope they did anyway. Um, can't ask for more than that. Uh, to summarise the race, really, we were talking a little bit on the, on the Discord um, team tactics and everything. Shout out to Mike Cumming as well, who I used to race with on uh, oh, that's nice. Rafa Condor. Yeah, Mike was DS in us. Oh, that's so cool. So, um, all the way from Australia. Aww. And uh, yeah, we used to race together. Mike won the Tour of Korea back in the day. Yeah, the race was pretty chill until the, the climbs. Uh, first climb being like probably the second hardest, middle climb being the easiest, and the final climb obviously being the hardest. But um, yeah, just thanks to British Cycling for the opportunity. Hopefully, we did everybody proud. Um, like I said, you know, trying to trying to be there at the finish, or trying to put myself in a position to win if I had the legs. Hopefully this is the start of awesome things. And yeah, just to thank you all for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.